Hello. In my video on January the 3rd, 2023, I talked about a stepper motor and getting a nice demo showing the stepper motor matching the movement path illuminated on the LED ring. To do that, I had to detect the start position of the motor to align it with the LED ring. We need to also keep doing this to keep it in sync as it's a mechanical device and the slippage happens. So I used a slot detector to do this, often used in speed detection. These little modules are great, but they are quite big. And I'm looking at a couple of projects at the moment where I wanted something smaller. Still using these 28 BYJ48 stepper motors, which are cheap and great. To do this, I started looking at Hall effect sensors. So I started uh, looking at the A3144. In this video, I'm going to show a test circuit and code for using the A3144 Hall sensor with the Pico. What is the Hall effect? The Hall effect was discovered by Edwin Hall in 1879. It's about how electricity passes through a conductor when exposed to a magnetic field. Electrons, as we know, travel from negative to positive through a conductor, which could be a piece of wire or within a semiconductor. Electrons are normally spread out across the conductor. If we were able to attach electrodes to either side of the conductor and measure the voltage across the conductor, it would be zero as the electrons are evenly distributed as they flow. Hall discovered that when you apply a magnetic field to the conductor, that the electrons are pulled towards the north pole of the magnet. This then creates a voltage across the conductor, the Hall voltage. More electrons are one side of the conductor than the other. This makes the side closer to the magnet negative in relation to the other side of the conductor. The voltages created are very small, but in semiconductors, because of the holes in the semiconductor's doping, are magnified. So Hall effect sensors are normally based on semiconductor technology and include amplification of the effect. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay are a PCB fabrication and build service who are also providing 3D printing, CNC, sheet metal fabrication and injection moulding services. Right now I'm just waiting for a PCB from them which will use a Hall sensor in a little project. The project is also going to use some 3D printed parts. I'm lucky enough to have a 3D printer but I'm still considering getting some volume of parts printed by PCBWay. Check out PCBWay services and try out the friendly service from PCBWay on your projects too. More of that project coming in a future video. Remember to hit subscribe and the bell so you get notified. The A3144 is a digital output Hall effect sensor. It's a 5 volt device with a digital output. Detection time is 2 microseconds. The A3144 has 3 pins. Supply, 5 volts. The center ground pin and a digital output. The case has a flat back side and then um, sloping sides into a front plate with the identification number on it. The flat back side of the device is a detection surface that we wish to apply the North Pole magnet field to. Connecting the A3144 to the Pico. The normal circuit you see online for connecting up the A3144 is this. We have to connect it to a 5 volt source across the device. Then we need to pull the output high through a 10k resistor. Finally use a capacitor to smooth out the signal. This gives us a 5 volt output on the GPIO when no magnetic field is detected, falling to ground on a magnet north pole being brought near to the device. The Pico and RP2040 is a 3.3 volt GPIO device. And should we really connect a 5 volt device directly to a 3.3 volt input? This is not ideal, though the majority of the GPIO inputs on the Pico are 5 volt tolerant, but not all of them. The pins are associated with the analog to digital converter 
GP26 to GP28 are not 5 volt tolerant and would be damaged if we plug this device straight in. What I'd rather do is convert this to a 3.3 volt output. I could do this using a voltage divider or intervening device, but actually it's easier than that. If we simply pull the output up to 3.3 volts, then we get a 3.3 volt GPIO output from the sensor. So this is how I'm going to connect the sensor to the Pico. This does require that I have a 5 volt and 3.3 volt supply. I have to have a 5 volt supply for my project, driving my stepper motors anyway, and I can pull the 3.3 volts off of the Pico, so this is fine for my use. So let's look at a test project example. So in our project schematic, we'll use the pull up to 3.3 volt approach and connect the output of the sensor into GPIO 14. I'll put an LED on GPIO 15 via a 75 ohm resistor to show the status of our sensor. I've pulled 4 volts supply off of the bus, which is coming straight from the USB cable onto the top power bar, then 3.3 volts from the Pico onto the bottom power bar. The LED is connected into GPIO 15. The Hall effect sensor pulled up to GPIO 14. It might be slightly easier to see it in a rotating image of the board. Get a view around all of the board that way. So my test project is just going to light the LED when the magnet is detected. When there is no magnetic field, the LED will be off. So we will detect the changing effect from the sensor. I'm going to use the interrupt callback approach from the Pico SDK. I created a GitHub repository for the code for this example and put the link in the comments. To build, clone the repository, then create a build folder. In that build folder, issue the command cmake dot dot and then make. The binary can then be copied onto the Pico. We just need to use the standard library to work with the LED and the whole sensor. I'm also going to use standard IO as I'm going to print out the number of times we get an on and off signal from the sensor. The reason for printing this out is that I'm interested in if I need to do some debouncing on the detector. How does this respond compare with a switch, for example? I'll use the interrupt mechanism to notify of the sensor detecting a magnet. When a magnet is detected, we'll get a falling edge. When the magnet moves away, we'll get a rising edge. So on falling edge, we'll turn the LED on. On rising edge, we'll turn the LED off. The main function will set up the LED and blink it once. Then the main function can set up the whole sensor and the callback function. It will then run a loop printing out the count every second. So let's see this running. You can see that as I bring the magnet towards the sensor, the LED is turned on. It detects the magnet within about 15 millimeters of the sensor. So the A3144 is a great little Hall effect sensor. Very useful as a sensor for our Pico and RP2040 projects. It's easy to connect as a 3.3 volt device, though it does require a 5 volt supply. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Remember, hit the bell so you get notified of my latest videos. See you very soon.